Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to attract birds to your backyard. I'm your host, Grant Reddick. So the company KiwiBit reached out and asked me if I'd take a look and review their new Beko AI Smart Bird Feeder. So today we're going to be unboxing, opening, and then testing the new Beko Smart AI Bird Feeder. Let's get into it. Once you get the product open and unboxed, setup is relatively easy. The first thing that you're gonna need to do is either go to the Play Store or the Apple Store, and you're gonna download the KiwiBit app. Once you download the app and you turn on your smart bird feeder, you're gonna follow the next steps. This is gonna to proceed to find the unit, and it's also going to find your Wi-Fi. So once you find your Wi-Fi and you connect to your Wi-Fi, it's gonna automatically find the new smart feeder that you have. After downloading the app and connecting the product, it may ask you to do an update on the device. Go ahead and update the device, and this is gonna take care of any bugs or issues. The product itself comes with all the necessary materials. So it comes with the feeder, it comes with two cameras, it comes with a roof. It also comes with several different mounting options. Just from my initial unboxing, I really like the fact that this has really sturdy plastic to it. It looks like everything's gonna work really good. I do like the fact, and they always uh, put these on here, but it does have some holes in the bottom of the feeder. What I love about that is even though it has a roof that's technically supposed to cover any rain or any weather, if it does get in here, it's still gonna make sure that it stays dry because it's gonna be able to drip out of the bottom. One of the really cool things about this particular feeder, um, if you open this up and you pull this out, you're gonna notice that it actually has the ability to try different seeds. So you could do black oil sunflower seed and safflower another. Basically, it gives you the option to have multiple seed in the same feeder because it has two different ports here that you can actually put different seed in. And one of the other cool things that I really like about this feeder is it actually has these little things that you can open and close. So you can fill it to make sure that none of the seed falls down into the feeder yet. And then once you get it up and hanging, you can open these and allow the seed to come down. So now that you have your feeder put together, it's connected to your smartphone. Let's get this thing mounted up and let's get some birds. All right, so now that we have the bird feeder set up, mounted, it's filled up, Let's see if we can get some birds. I mounted the feeder to a four by four wooden post that has the majority of all my bird feeders on it. And this was to ensure that the birds could find the feeder very quickly. Within 15 minutes of me putting up the feeder, I had my first guest, a tufted titmouse. If this is your first bird feeder, or if you're placing this feeder in a new location that you have not previously had other bird feeders, I highly recommend to be patient as it sometimes takes birds a long time to find new feeders. I will also highly recommend and always recommend using black oil sunflower seeds. They're high in oil and fat, and they also attract the most variety of bird species. And this way, you're not having to worry if you're using the wrong seed or it's in the wrong location because you know that you're using the right seed and it'll bring the most variety of birds. The app works extremely well and it sends you notifications when you have a new bird at your feeder. If you subscribe to the AI cloud service, for the most part, it will identify every bird that shows up at your feeder. When opening the KiwiBit app, you have four options at the bottom. You can use the home option, the birds option, activity, and account. The home option allows you to go to any different cameras or camera feeders that you have that are made by KiwiBit, and you can access any of the other cameras or camera feeders in this location. If you subscribe to the AI bird identification that is offered, when you click on the birds, you'll actually see pictures from your feeder of birds that have showed up which I thought was a really awesome addition. The app will tell you how many times that particular species has visited your feeder, 
and clicking on that bird will take you to all the different activities and all the times that they've visited your feeder. Key shots are captured of the most appealing moments from all the times that your bird visits. So only the best frames are selected and are gonna be displayed in the most ideal format. If the shot isn't good, it won't be saved in this format. Activity will show you all the different bird species and all the different individuals that have visited your feeder. It will also give you a calendar look so you can choose which day you'd like to see. You can also download one or several other videos from this feed. Account is exactly what it sounds like and this is where you can change all the different settings along with your account. Overall, the app is very intuitive it's easy to learn and it has a lot of user control and I'm very satisfied with the way that the app works. As stated previously, the feeder itself is built extremely well. One thing that I truly like and I brought up this before is the fact that you have the option to have different food options. And because the opening is so large, this could be mealworms, it can be different bird seed, it just gives you a ton of different options to play with in this feeder. The feeder comes apart for easy cleaning, which is a huge plus because a lot of these feeders are very difficult to clean. The feeder also has extremely good battery life, even if you're not using the included solar panel that charges the device. The picture quality is great. There's several different options. I highly recommend changing it to the 4K quality just to get a little bit better quality, but the picture quality is extremely comparable to the other top companies in the smart bird feeding market. It has been a pleasure using this feeder and it works very well in my daily feeder workflow. The only con that I could find with this feeder is one that's not going to affect a lot of people. This feeder is designed to be more of a permanent solution or a permanent setup which is why it includes a solar panel to make sure that it recharges on a regular basis. Unfortunately for me, I have bears in my area, and the only way that I've found to combat them is by taking my feeders down every night and putting them out every morning. This feeder, unfortunately, does not have a quick and easy put it up and take it down solution. Now again, for most people, they won't be using this option and they'll want to set it and forget it and have a permanent solution. But this is the one con that I've found for my personal workflow, but this is a very minuscule thing that won't be needed by a lot of people. I wanna thank KiwiBit for sending me this feeder. It's been a blast, I've really appreciated it, and I highly recommend the feeder if you're looking for a new solution or a new smart bird feeder. I'm gonna leave a link for this feeder below. It is brand new and it's just hitting the public now. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'd love to answer any questions from you. If you've liked this video and you'd like to see more videos about how to attract birds to your backyard, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until next time, get out and get birding.